Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Uh, 16 New Hampshire communities are now buying or about to buy electricity at below utility rates for their residents, and 23 more are interested. It's a program called Community Power and was established by the New Hampshire legislature in 2019. It promises to transform the power landscape in New Hampshire. Now, here's the program in a nutshell. Communities can com become uh, locally controlled electricity providers. They can get control over cost of electricity and its source, and utilities will still own, operate, and maintain the power lines, the infrastructure. Rates are 20 to 40 percent below those of utility companies. And here are the New Hampshire communities that have launched or signed up for community power. You can see them. The communities in green have launched the program. The communities in blue have approved it. And the communities in red are in the planning stage. You may see your community in one of those. And with me to walk us through this in the studio, uh, the significant development in New Hampshire's energy world is Henry Herndon, who is Director of Member Services for the Community Power Coalition and one of its founders, and Lisa Sweet, a key member of the Rye Energy Committee. Welcome to both of you. Thank you very Thanks much. Nice to have you here. Good subject. Good subject. Uh, Henry, um, tell us about community power from where you sit trying to organize it in the state. How does it work? Sure. So Community Power Coalition of New Hampshire is a nonprofit power supplier created by New Hampshire cities and towns. And we launched service in April of this year for uh, the initial communities and currently, as you said, providing service to uh, 16 of those cities and towns yep. across the state, about 85,000 electric customers and lowering the rates for those uh, individuals. Just in the first nine months or so of the program, it's going to be about $10 million in electric bill savings back in the pockets of Granite Staters. Wow. And we're going to see all these numbers really grow as more and more towns, as you showed on that map, come online in the coming yep. months. And now Cheshire County is involved. That's right. So uh, Cheshire County, the first county model, they took off, they're taking off just this fall with the first three towns, Dublin, Fitzwilliam, and Nelson, and then a number of other towns are signing up so they can sort of streamline the process and make it much easier for a town, the select board level, to vote and join on into that program. Now, Lisa, Rye is already into this program, um, and uh, so when did you start? What's been your experience to date, and how much of the community is involved? Um, the vast majority of the community is involved. Um, our energy committee started looking at the opportunity of community power and we thought, wow, you know, here's an opportunity to uh, pool all of our residents and businesses as one um, and so that we can get more competitive rates right. and also offer them uh, more choices at the individual level for more clean energy products. So yep. um, we thought that was very attractive. Our select board really wanted us to uh, make sure that it was easy for the customers. So with the coalition's help, we were able to do that. And what are you seeing for rates? We're seeing um, uh, currently the granite basic rate is 10 point nine cents per kilowatt hour. I think it's the lowest in the state and yep. that is what the vast majority of our customers are on. Um, but they have choices for other products if they would like to, and most of those other products are also below the utility rate. Yeah. Henry, has there been any resistance from utility companies? I mean, they are maintaining the lines and they're providing the power to the communities, but has there been any resistance from them in particular? So utility companies, they're really partners in this. They don't lose anything on, you know, the power supply moving to a competitive supplier or to community power. Their job right. is keep the grid up and running, keep the poles and wires going. But what you find is, you know, the state regulated monopoly is not always the best recipe for innovation and the legislature's intent here was give more local control to the communities let them work together let them access the marketplace to get some of that innovation on the supply side so we can right. push forward right Elisa, do you think going down the road could some of these communities generate their own power and store it um, I think absolutely they could you know in Rye we have um, solar on our uh, junior high school and we're, we'll soon have it on the elementary school we've considered another site and through our interaction with the coalition, we've learned that there's a lot of that happening throughout the state. And so um, mm. we're really excited to have sort yeah. of that access. Same question, you know, storage, generation storage, what do you think? Absolutely. A lot of communities are really interested in having more local control, developing community scale energy projects. Cities and towns have been leaders in energy projects on their municipal facilities and community power allows them to spread those benefits to the broader community, build local energy projects should they choose to and if the price is right. Henry Herndon, who is Director of Member Service 
Services for the Community Power Coalition of New Hampshire. Thank you. Thank you. And Lisa Sweet of the Rye Energy Committee. Thank you. Thank you. If you missed part of this briefing on community energy, you can go to WMUR.com where it will be posted all this week.